cut since 2000 and written the sham of an attraction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. We weren't going yeah. that far, but now that we know that that's okay. Well, I think even the company knows that, so, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know. But, well, you know, it was a beautiful attraction that talked about this process that every single person does, and that's they gather input. You're gathering it right now. You're storing it some way or another. And you will use it to combine with all the things you know to create new things. And uh, it was a very inclusive thing. The Sherman Brothers captured that thought with the one little bark song. And the only thing that was missing was the name of our dragon, which you've probably all heard the story, but I was home one night and we, Dreamfinder came out of, just quickly, he's a guy that finds dreams, so he's the Dreamfinder. The dragon, what is that going to be? And uh, one night I was watching Magnum P.I. and Magnum had put a goat in the garden which ate all of the plants and the foliage. And the old butler came in mad as hell and said, what is going on out there? And, and Magnum, to calm him down, to said, oh, it must be a figment of your imagination. And the butler looked at him and said, figments don't eat grass. <laughs> and I just sat there for a minute and went, well, what do they look like and what do they eat? <laughs> and then it just popped and said, you know, isn't it obvious? So I, the next day I grabbed the little card figure we had the model and I put it on the desk in front of our whole team and I said, meet Figment. And everybody looked at me and said, how, how did we not? I mean, that is it's so obvious. And what's cool about it, you can try this on your phone when this is over, write in the word Figment, Google the word Figment, and then push images. And every single image for pages and pages is figment. Now that's an English word that's been around for 500 years, and now we own it. And that's what I call <laughs> I call that valuable mental real estate. Is there, uh, like, uh, when I was a child, and we each hear this, and I think everyone in the audience, when we were children and we went on this ride, figment felt like he, he was your best friend. Maybe, no, no one feels that? <laughs> uh oh. So I like you're thinking of Fit, but do you have a fondness for him in that way, or do you identify with him? Like when you were make creating him, was it like I want to make some like the perfect best friend for I guess me is really what I'm asking. <laughs> like what was your thought, and like is he what qualities will he have? Like like what was an overall like kind of philosophy? You were the you were the perfect age audience for it. Um, you know we had very serious people that had passed the gates of childhood and sort of given up that 12 year old, they would go, I don't get it, I don't get it. The movie I love is big. And you can watch this dynamic between Tom Hanks, who's an adult with a 12 year old's mind, uh, giving a pre or in a presentation where this guy's talking about facts and figures and extending the penetration of this product to the 14 year old level and all that. And Tom is playing with it and going, you know, he raises his hand, yes. Well, I don't get it, what's fun about turning a building into a robot? And the guy goes, didn't you read your charts? And all that. <laughs> so, you know, the dilemma was children just caught it right away and the dynamic of Dreamfinder being kind of a Santa Claus or a knowledge figure who's lovable and benign and this child who just is drinking it all up and after like two minutes of uh, one thing, he's on to something else. And it, it was an extraordinary combination of two perfectly balanced comedians. I think the problem now is you've got two wacky people. You've got Eric Idle and Figment, so they don't, you can't play off. It's not like Abbott and Costello or Laurel and Hardy or Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis or Figment and Dreamfinder. It's Figment and Figment, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was a perfect combination, and you can't believe the, the letters we still get. And, and it's your age group that's kept it alive, so keep those letters coming, because the Marvel took a gamble and did 15 episodes, and they were hugely successful. They went hardbound, which doesn't often happen with a standalone. Yeah. Oh, they are, they're comic, you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah the comic's really, has anybody yeah. read it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. I did have a question about that. So, like, Figment, uh, Dreamfinder, everyone knows, hold on, this will work. We have right? audio-visual? We do, if it would work. <laughs> Except you're, you're uh, let me, uh, while well, Mike's figuring that out, um, so you, you mentioned the, the sham version, uh, so what happened? Like, why did that did you tell happen? me what happened? <laughs> oh, it's one of those scenarios, I see. I mean, it was very clear that it was to be an inclusive thing. I mean, so many kids grew up with their parents saying, what's wrong with you? Aren't you imaginative? You gotta work, you know, come up with some idea to do on your own. Well, so, 
That's drummed into everyone. And if you, if the goal of high school is to beat the 12 year old out of you and make you a productive adult without childlike thoughts, I mean, I don't know what I would have done to create all the things I've created if I couldn't imagine what it would be like to be, as you said, that kid going on that ride and having the, the appeal and the emotional connection to the characters and the scenes involved. So, you know, this is a, a danger we have in our school system. So the, the, the new one, I think, sort of reflects a more adult attitude. And if you can explain to me what an upside down toilet on the ceiling and learning how a skunk smells improve your imagination, it would help me a lot, because I, for one, can't figure it out. Comedy was very interesting in the 90s. Yes, it's all as I can. So yeah, so Dreamfinder, this is this is what he uh, Tapo appeared on the ride, and this is uh, so. This, so in his original incarnation, he was this sort of jolly Santa Claus. I was wondering, how do you feel about the change they made to the, in the Marvel comics to make him a whole lot sexier? <laughs> <laughs> like, look, like look at look at this man. He's a very handsome man, and it's just. I mean, I think it's good. I just, well, how did you feel? As Have you ever interviewed anyone from People Magazine about what covers sell best? <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Cover. The stories are sweet and charming. <laughs> so if no. they made Eric Idle's Dr. Nigel Channing a super punk, <laughs> maybe that would help. More appealing on, on some level. But I think, you know, the idea of the stories was kind of going back to the origin of stories. <laughs> But I, I would love to see a Figment animated feature film, the Figment yeah. movie. We all want it. We want this there's a streaming service coming out, and this is a perfect place for a TV show about Figment. So somebody out there can make this happen. So maybe there's someone from Disney out there who can. I mean, literally, if you have the IP where you push a word on Google and every image of it the Disney company owns, why wouldn't you do something with it? I don't get that. It's funny, this might be a place where Brecht Eisner could help again. <laughs> you don't know, I don't know if we've ever brought this up on the podcast, Breck Eisner went on to direct the movie The Last Witch Hunter starring Vin Diesel. <laughs> and he's currently an executive producer on The Expanse, the next season coming soon to Amazon. Perfect. You have a phone there that you're looking all this stuff up. I, not for that part yet. <laughs> that, we have it all committed yeah. to memory, Rex career. Uh, so, can I, can I ask about uh, here? We're talking about uh, stuff in Epcot Center, and then uh, we in, uh, here in California almost got a, a West Coast version of Epcot Center called Westcott, and uh, and you were.